Did you guys see that the new Vogue pattern drop? Well, guess what? The Vogue early spring 2024 patterns are here and I'm gonna tell you all about the ones that I will be picking up. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Just give me a bag, I'll make you a million, I promise I'll do it myself. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys those Vogue early spring 2024 pattern that just dropped today, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna share with you guys the ones that I plan on picking up and also tell you the ones that I won't be picking up and why. But if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you're returning, you guys know what to do. Go get you a quick snack, something to drink, grab your notebooks, you may need it, okay? And come on back so we can go ahead and get into this video. So without further ado, keep it short, sweet, and give you all the news that you can use on this video. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, so I'm not going to take a lot of time because I'm pretty sure if you looked at my stories, you know that the Vogue patterns dropped today. And listen, I am, I looked at these at, you know, lunchtime when I told you guys that they dropped and I was gonna be doing the video, so here we are, all right, right after work, all right. So let's go ahead and get right on into it, starting with the first pattern, which is, all of these are Vogue, so I'm only gonna say Vogue this one time and then we're just gonna get to the numbers. But the new series is 2000 to 2022. So let's start off with 2000, all right. So Vogue 2000 is a Mrs. Wrap dress by DFW, Diane von Furstenberg. And this is an iconic vintage Vogue pattern, 50, 50th year anniversary uh, pattern from 1970. So it is a front wrap dress. It has been released from the pattern archives for the first time in over 50 years. And this one features a front wrap dress. It has three inches below the mid knee or evening lid, fitted bodice, slightly gathered at the front and tucked at the back into a waistline, into the waistline. Full length sleeve, have pointed collars with the button trims on the buttons. Now Mimi G also did a complete sew along that you can find on the Simplicity uh, YouTube channel, okay? So don't miss that as well. I am definitely picking up this pattern. Let's go ahead and talk about sizing for the pattern. So in terms of sizing for um, the pattern, it comes in both pattern or PDF and paper or PDF. The sizing is six to 14 and 16 to 24 on the pattern. Now this one, um, in terms of the skill level, it says it's easy to sew, but you know, there is a video that you can see in order to see that sew along as well. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you can use any type of fabric of your choosing. Some of the ones that's listed on the back of the pattern are your chalet, your chambray, your single knits, cotton jerseys, wool, that kind of stuff um, as well. So you can use whatever fabric that you want, but just use a good one for this dress, all right? Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is Vogue 2001, all right? So for Vogue 2001 for this pattern, it is a Mrs. Dress, another vintage pattern. This pattern is a 1941 one piece dress, long length dress. It has the tiny Komodo sleeves. It has shaped collarless neckline and a circular gathered top two piece skirt as well. Now this one features a blouse and the blouse features the gathered fullness on either side of the V shaped section at the front and is seamed at the center back and has center front view below the V, okay? So one thing about the skirt, the skirt is cut on the crosswise grain instead of the grain line, okay? So make sure you know that this is an authentic vintage reproduction pattern as well. 
Let's talk sizing. All right, so in terms of sizing for this pattern, this one only comes in a paper pattern. It's eight to 16 on the first pattern and 18 to 26. This is an average to sew pattern as well. So make sure you have some knowledge of what to do in order for this. So this one, the reason why I want this one is they, there's a lot of frock tails that's going on. This dress will be great for your Chicago frock tail, even though that one is the blues era. So I can see this pattern being used for that. I could also see this pattern being used for the Atlanta frock tail, which is summer garden. So if you get kind of like a sheer fabric from Joann's that has some florals on it, and then just put kind of like either your pink or your lilac or lavender behind it, satin or silk back, back uh, crepe back satin, <laughs> it would work perfect for this pattern. But once again, it's Vogue 2001. Let's move over to the next one, it's 2002. So on Vogue 2002, this is a pattern that I would not be picking up, but let's get into the dress and the capelet. So this is also another vintage Vogue pattern from 1952, it has a one piece dress and capelet. It has a two piece circular skirt, joins the bare top bodice at the waist for sure. It features the shoulder strap buttons to the bodice in the front and the capelet buttons to the bodice in the front as well. All right, so I mean, this one is not for me, but if it's for you, by all means do so. This is an average to show pattern. Let's talk, let's talk the pattern sizing, all right, since I already gave you the skill level. So in terms of the pattern sizing, there's two envelopes, eight to 16, and then 18 to 26 on that second pattern. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you can use any type of fabric of your choosing. You will need some lining for this, so be sure of that. You can use chambray, cotton, broadcloth, um, crepe, embroidered cottons for sure, gingham, just to name a few, shang tongs, taffas, taffas, tough? however you pronounce it, but you will need some bodice lining fabric, some lining fabric as well for this uh, pattern, all right? Once again, it's Vogue 2002. Let's move over to the next one, it's Vogue 2003, which is another pattern I will not be picking up. Let's get into it. So Vogue for Vogue 2003, it is a dress and petticoat pattern. So this one is another vintage pattern from 1959, which is a one piece dress and petticoat. It has the white neckline, it has the front modesty for sure, sleeveless short and full length sleeves. So it has three different leaves of your, three different sleeves of your choosing. It also features a flared skirt and two length that has release darts. I don't know if you guys know what release darts are, but yeah, it has that. It joins the bodice at the waistband and the petticoat is actually in two length. It has uh, gathered tears for sure. Once again, this is a authentic vintage reproduction pattern um, as well. Now, one thing I wanna say is view A and view B are your petticoat ones with the tears, right? But you could get a bodice section as well for this one as well. Um, in terms of sizing, let's talk, let, before we talk sizing, let's talk the skill level. So the skill level for this pattern is rated as average. Let's talk about the pattern sizing. So in terms of the pattern sizing, it's two envelopes, six to 14, and then 16 to 24 on the second pattern. Let's talk the uh, fabrics. Almost forgot. <laughs> Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, brocade, cotton, satin, um, there, I'm gonna say use special occasion fabric. Once again, special occasion fabric will be what you want to use for this pattern. All right, let's talk about the next pattern. Moving over to the next one, Vogue 2004, which is another pattern I will not be picking up, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right. <laughs> so for Vogue 2004, it's a Mrs. Dress and two lengths. Now, the reason why I wouldn't be picking this one up is because it reminds me of a Butterick pattern I already have. Now, I'm gonna put it up on the screen if I can remember when I'm editing this video because I'm doing this relatively quick and I did not verify if that number is accurate right now, okay? I did not <laughs> verify the accuracy of that number yet. So I'm not gonna tell you the Butterick number, but 
when I'm editing this video and I can remember during that time, I will put it up on the screen. If you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comment section below, all right? But let's get into the description of this pattern. So for this pattern, it's a line dress, fitted through the bust, it have the raglan sleeves, uh, front button and bias loop closure, invisible back zipper and hook and eye closure, which is optional if you wanna do the hook and eye closure. Now keep in mind that View A has your flared skirt with the ruffle hems, um, both dress features, side seam pocket, stitch hem, and below the elbow length sleeves with the barrel cuffs. Now that is for view A. In terms of view B, it has the long sleeve, the continuous lap opening. It also features the button and the loop closure on the cuffs as well. So just know that it's not going to be your regular do a buttonhole and then put the button in there. It's going to be um, loops instead of buttonholes, all right? Let's talk skill level. So for the skill level for this pattern is rated as average as it should be simply because you have your buttons and you have your loops and you got all of these things that you have to do for this pattern. So I agree that it should be rated as average for this pattern. Let's talk the pattern sizing, all right? So in terms of the pattern sizing for this pattern, it comes in two envelopes, eight to 16, and then 18 to 26 on that second pattern. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you will, you could use chiffon, you could use crepe de shine, you could use crepe, just regular crepe, Georgette, lightweight linen. You could use many different fabrics, but I'm gonna say use kind of like a silky style fabric um, for this one as well, all right? Let's move over to the next pattern, which is another pattern your girl will not be picking up, sorry to say, but it's 2005, all right? So for Vogue 2005, uh, this pattern right here is a miss, another Mrs. Dress in two lengths with sleeve variations. Now, the reason I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm not gonna pick this pattern up, and then we'll talk about why. So this pattern reminds me of the McCall pattern that came out, I wanna say summer of last year, that was a road pattern. The front looks exactly the same. I'm gonna put that pattern up on the screen, so don't even worry about it, don't even worry about it. Um, but. If when I'm editing the videos, I find the exact same pattern, I will also put up on the screen exact pattern if I find it. But I'm just saying like this McCall pattern, that's a row pattern. It looks similar to this uh, pattern. So I'm like, mm, I got that pattern. I'm not gonna get this one, all right? Because I could pay $1.99, but $5.99 for a pattern I might not So. Yeah, we're doing better in 2024 with patterns, all right? So this is another one that I will not sew. Let's go ahead and talk about what this pattern is. So this pattern is a line fit and flared dress. I love fit and flared dresses for sure. It's fitted through the bust and waist. It has the bias ruffle detail tracing the yoke and neckline. Um, it has a underlined bodice. It has princess seams, extended shoulders, shoulder pads, which are optional if you wanna do that, and the gathered satin sleeves ending in the button cuffs. Now, when they say the gathered sleeve, basically what that means is the bottom of your sleeves will be gathered and then you have a cuff that you will put on. That's what gathered in the sleeve cuff means. I don't know why they put it like that, but they could have just put the sleeves are gathered before putting on the cuffs. That's probably how I would word it to make sure you understand what they're saying, all right? Um, also with this one, it also features a continuous lap opening, which is that little section that you have at the bottom that goes into the cuff as well. That's what your continuous lap is. The dress includes front button and self bias loop opening, invisible back zipper, and a baby hem. Now view A has your short sleeves view, and then view B is your full length sleeves as well. Let's talk about the sewing skill level. Now, most of these patterns are average to sew patterns, okay? So be mindful of that. And normally Vogue are, in my opinion, I-M-O, in my opinion, are intermediate or average to sew. I don't see a, too many in a collection that are easy to sew. Just giving you that. Let's talk about the pattern sizing, all right? So in terms of the pattern sizing, it's two envelopes, it's size six to 14 on the first envelope and 16 to 24 on the second envelope. Um, let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, I'm gonna say any type of silky print fabric. That could be your crepes, your crepe Georgette, um, your rayon chalet, just to name a few of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern, all right? 
Let's get into the next pattern, which is one that I will be picking up, which is Vogue 2006. So let's go ahead and get into that pattern. So for Vogue 2006, yet again, this is a Mrs. two-piece dress. Now, one thing I want, it, it's a two-piece dress, but it's a top and a skirt, really to form that dress. Now, one thing I wanna mention about this pattern that I've seen is a lot of dresses in this pattern, okay? In this collection, which I like, but, in order to make my Make 9 2024 board, we're gonna need more than just dresses, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this pattern. All right, so this one is a close fitting line peplum top, has princess seam, square neckline, neck band, front zipper, you have the set in sleeves with the shoulder pleats, which I like that. Optional shoulder pads, if you like that. I just do not like shoulder pads, period. That's just, you know, me. It also features a matching belt with the cover buckle on the belt. This pattern also features the pencil skirt, which has the, the waist darts, invisible back zipper, hook and bar closure, if you want that hook and bar closure, but you guys know what I will do is take it all the way up to the top into the waistband. That's just how I like to do my zippers. Um, it also features back pleats and an invisible hem. Now this pattern also features uh, cup sizes. So a separate pattern pieces that includes your cup sizes, A, B, C, and D for that as well. In terms of the sewing skill level is rated as average and I feel like this is average. Now one thing I wanna mention about the top, this reminds me of a new look pattern. Um, a girl, uh, Marika from Hey Marika Mitchell, she did this new look pattern which I'm gonna put up on the screen. Um, for that now, I'm not saying that it's the exact same, but that square neck reminds me of the new look pattern. All right. Um, and it's just, you know, you could add a ruffle at the bottom. It's not hard to do whatsoever. If you just take that pattern, add a ruffle at the end, add some sleeves and you pretty much got the same pattern and you only really spent no more than $2.99. I'm just saying. All right. The skirt reminds me of new look 6697. Nothing nothing spectacular about the skirt now i like this pattern would i pick it up potentially that is in my potentially stash however i know i can use two new look patterns and get the same features i'm just saying so what are you gonna do let me know in the comment section below and if this video has been super informative fun and educational go ahead and hit that like button while we're here right <laughs> and comment below and let me know all right but let's go ahead and get into the sizing for this pattern. Now for Vogue 2006, the pattern sizes is eight to 16 and 18 to 26 on the second envelope. Let's talk fabrics. So in terms of fabric for this pattern, you can use one of my favorite fabrics, which is the Ankara fabric. You can use brocade, shang tong, wool blend um, for those. In terms of lining, I'm gonna say use crepe, Shea Muse. Um, you can use any type of fabric of your choosing. I would just say make sure it's not just straight up cotton, unless you use an Ankara. Even with Ankara fabric, I would say use at least a crepe, something silky, and will fit the bill for what you wanna do. If you wanna make it look cheap, it's going to look cheap, all right? Let's go ahead and get into the next one, which is 2007. Now, this one, once again, is on my potential list, all right? It's once again a Mrs. Two-Piece dress, all right? But when it's a two-piece dress, it's more of kind of like a button-down shirt and a skirt. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is a fitted button front shirt. It has pointed collars, neck band, set in sleeves, bust dart, top stitching, and a shaped hem. That's everything that you would get in a button-down shirt. View A has your patch pocket, which is optional. If you do not want to do that, you do not have to. It has below the elbow sleeves with the slit cuffs, all right? View B is cut crosswise. It has placket sleeve opening and button cuffs as well. And then you have loose fitting skirts, which are cut on the crosswise grain. It have waist pleats, invisible side zipper with the hook and bar closure and Horse hair braid on the hem if you want that as well. In terms of the skill level, once again, it's rated as average, but when it comes to a button down shirt, there are button down shirts that's easy in terms of sewing it together. But like I said, if you're a true beginner, it's not easy. Now this pattern is probably rated as average because you have to do horse hair braid. If you have never done that, yeah. 
<laughs> you got to get those skills in there in order for it. It's not easy, but it's not difficult either. It's just you have to look at a couple of videos in order to do that. If you have never done that before. That's why I said push your limit in 2024. Let's talk about the pattern sizing. So in terms of the pattern sizing for this pattern, it's two envelopes, eight to 16, and then 18 to 26 on that second envelope. Let's talk the fabric. So in terms of fabric, you guys know you can use any type of fabric of your choosing, but some suggested fabrics would be your poplin, sateen, shantong, just to name a few if you are doing view A or view D. Not sure why the two views, like one button down shirt and one skirt, but for BC, they're talking about double border prints for that as well. But yeah, you know, that's 2007. Let's go ahead and talk about the next pattern, which is 2008, which is on my list of patterns that I will pick up. Now, this one is a Tom and Linda plait pattern. It is a Mrs. Dress. Like I said, all of these patterns are pretty much dress patterns. All right, let's get into the description. So this dress is close fitting, line bias cut, halter style dress it has front neck gathers neck binding in case bias collar that ties in the back the dress has back neck slits opening with hook and eye closure and a baby hem now let's say this one reminds me of vogue 1729 minus the sleeves all right i believe it's vogue 1729 i'll put it up on the screen or whatnot um, but that's what this one reminds me of with the tie in the back and all of that good stuff. Um, but I like this dress and I'm going to be picking up this dress as well. In terms of the sewing skill level, it's rated as advanced. So for my ladies who are super beginner, I'm not going to say shy away from the pattern because it's rated as advanced. But if you re read a lot of these de details, you're gonna be dealing with some silky style fabric, number one. You're gonna be dealing with probably some pleats, um, darts at the neck. You're gonna be pulling on a collar. You're going to be lining the entire thing. You're gonna be dealing with zippers and stuff like that. So I can see why it's um, rated as advanced, not average, but advanced. But when you're dealing with silky fabric, silk fabric is not the easiest to sew with. So yeah, I can see why, all right? Let's talk about pattern sizing, yes. So in terms of pattern sizing for this one, it's four to 12 on the first envelope and then 14 to 22 on the second envelope. So my ladies who normally pick up patterns in 24 plus, it's not size inclusive for that, but most of these patterns on Vogue are not size inclusive. So I would say get the biggest size and then size up from there. I don't know how that's gonna play out for a lot of us um, because um, four to 12 is for the itty bitty women, no shade whatsoever. But the 14 to 22, I know myself, I would probably range in between that 16 to 18 with these hips because these hips don't lie, all right? Let's go ahead and talk, oh, let's talk about fabric. So in terms of fabric for this one, I'm gonna say that you're gonna need any type of silky style fabric. Shea Muse would be one, satin, Georgette, crepe, just to name a few that you will need, all right? So this is 2008. Let's go ahead and talk about the next pattern, which is Vogue 2009. All right, so for this one, this is one that I am potentially thinking of picking up for this one. This is another Mrs. Dress. And when I say potentially uh, pick up, the only thing that's giving me, yes, pick me up, are the sleeves. Like, I have a dress that's similar to that already. That's a simplicity pattern. But the sleeves is what's giving me that, ah, pick me up. All right, let's get into the uh, description of the pattern. So it's close fitting line dress. It has the sweetheart neckline, the balloon sleeve, invisible back zipper with the hook and eye closure. It also has like a below elbow length sleeve. It have opening with a continuous lap, elastic lube, and covered button closure. Now, I know it's gonna be hard for you guys to even hear me say this. Rochelle have never made a button closure, okay? I have not ever, in my over a decade of sewing, I have never done button, um, like the covered buttons. I have never done that. Do I know how to do it? Yes, it's just I have never done it. So I have never had to do any type of, you know, buttons where I had to make my own covered buttons. So that's one thing that I want to do this year. 
we will see, all right? It's just so happened that everything I have sewn, it always asks for either a zipper or just regular buttons. So I haven't sewn anything that required me to do covered buttons, but we're gonna try it this year and go from there. I have the kit and everything like that. So this may be a pattern that I think of doing a button closure or a covered button, all right? Let's talk about the skill level is rated as advanced, okay? Let's talk about the sizing, pattern sizing, yes. So in terms of pattern sizing, it's two envelopes, of course, eight to 16 and then 18 to 26 on that second envelope. Let's talk about fabric. So of course you're going to need, um, there's two contrasts for this pattern. So one, well, I'm gonna say both of them, you want some type of silky style fabric. It's gonna be your satins, your silk-like broadcloth, you could do crepe, you could do Chez Muse, you could do many of the silky style fabrics for this pattern, all right? Let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which is a potential um, pattern for me, which is 2010, the year my daughter was born. All right, so this is also another Mrs. Dress, also in two lengths. This is another advanced pattern all right so let's go ahead and get into the description of this pattern so this one is a close fitting unlined and line open back trumpet style dress it has princess seams it has a bow detail halter neck and back strapped with hook and bar closure and an invisible back zipper now view b has that train in the back and this pattern also features separate cup sizes for sure now I love this pattern and this pattern would be great to do if you are going to South Florida frock tail and the theme is masquerade ball. So I'm just saying, don't say that Rochelle didn't tell you, but I'm just saying, I'm not saying like for my beginners, I would definitely say choose a beginner pattern, but if you have some skills you've been doing, you know, a lot of these patterns and stuff, I'm just saying this pattern could definitely be used for South Florida Frocktail, Chicago Frocktail, Atlanta Frocktail. Many Frocktails coming up. Get into this pattern. 2010, your girl will be picking it up because it symbolized my daughter's year. And this will be a fabulous one for her for prom. Now she has a few years <laughs> before till prom, but I think this one will be a great one for her when that time comes, all right? Let's go ahead and move into the pattern sizing. All right, so in terms of pattern sizing for this pattern, it's two envelopes, six to 14, and then 16 to 24 on that second envelope. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you're gonna need some form of silky fabric, of course. Now, to me, I feel like the spring collection is more of your prom collection, all right? Um, but for this fabrics, you can use brocade, you can use satin, you can use silk, you can use many different fabrics of, of your choosing. Just make sure you know that you need lining fabric and under lining fabric, which will be like your organza or your muslin for this one as well. Make sure you also use medium weight fusible interfacing instead of your regular light interfacing as well. All right. But that is 2010 for that pattern. Moving over to the next pattern. Now, this one is 2011, and this pattern is a potential. And the reason why I say that, that yes, it is a Mrs. Top, and it has ruffles, but it's giving me the vibes of, this could be an easy throw on top, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the description for this pattern, which is a Mrs. Top with sleeve variation. 2011 features a loose-fitting, ruffle baby doll top, half-line body, Stand up collar, front neck gathers, gathered satin sleeves with the button closure and have a back slip opening. The collar fastens with the buttons and elastic loops. This is an average to sew pattern as well. Let's talk about the pattern sizing. It's two envelopes, eight to 16 on the first one and 18 to 26 on that second envelope. Let's talk fabrics, okay? So in terms of fabric, you can use basically any fabric of your choosing. You can use eyelet, you can use lace, you can use your georgette. You can eat hell, you can even use cotton if you want to, but just make sure you know that you're going to need some lining fabric for this pattern, all right? So that's 2011. Let's go ahead and get into the next pattern, which is 2012, which is a shirt, all right? So this pattern, and this is a potential, once again, 
I, I have so many button down shirts and when I say this is potential, I like it, but I could basically go without this pattern because I have so many button down shirts to get basically a color block shirt. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. It's 2012 and this one is a messy shirt. It's a loose fitting shirt. It has concealed button front closure, which is why I like this pattern. It also features your pointed collar, your collar bands, your flaying shoulders. I don't know if it's called flaying or flag. I don't know, but I'm gonna say flaying shoulders. It also has, the shirt includes long satin sleeves with the pleats and button cuffs with the placket opening. Now, the, what also drew me to this one is that concealed placket, so you do not see the buttons, which, which is what I like. Um, let's talk about skill level. The skill level is average to so. In terms of sizing, let's talk sizing. In terms of sizing, it's two envelopes, six to 14, and then 16 to 24 on that second envelope. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, of course, you can use any fabric, like your cotton shirt and crepes, lightweight wools, poplin, rayons, broadcloth, whatever you wanna use for your fabric. But once again, it's 2012. Let's move over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 2013. Now this pattern right here is a no for me, um, but it's a missus skirt and you may like it. Um, this reminds me of a simplicity pattern that came out many moons ago. I don't remember the pattern number off the top of my head. I, if I had to guess, it's simplicity 1559, I think is the pattern number. But, you know, if I'm incorrect, I will correct it up on the screen. But let's go ahead and get into the pattern description. So this pattern is a fitted unlined skirt. It has double breast front button closure. Well, pockets and top stitching. Now view A is your slim fit skirt in the short length. And then view B is more of your floor length skirt. It's flared and has the go it or got it, whatever you want to call it, right? And both skirts have that stitched hem as well. It is an average to sew pattern. So let's talk about pattern sizing. So it comes into envelopes six to 14 on the first one and then 16 to 24 on the second envelope. Let's talk about fabrics. So in terms of fabric for this pattern, um, you could use any type of medium weight style fabric like your cotton drill, linen, um, medium weight denim, tweed, just to name a few. You will need, so it does say lining. That lining is for your pockets, which is broadcloth, cotton, cotton twill, whatever you wanna use. But once again, this pattern is 2013. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which you guys know your girl is definitely picking up, all right? So this pattern is 2014, which is a pair of pants and some shorts. This would be great to do for my make nine, 2024, 20, <laughs> for a pair of shorts, okay? Not a pair of pants, but a pair of shorts, or both. We never know, right? But I like this one. Let's get into the description. So this pattern is a pants and shorts pattern. It has high rise, uh, pleated shorts or pants, loose fitting through the hips and have a waistband with a hook and bar closure. It features a belt carrier, side front pockets, back welt pockets, fly front zipper and cuffs, all right? So this pattern reminds me of Vogue, Brittany J. Jones did, I think it's Vogue 9008. I think it's a pattern number, but you know, I'm gonna correct it up on the screen if I'm incorrect. That's what the shorts remind me of, just a tad bit, all right? In terms of the pants, it reminds me of so many Vogue patterns that's already out. It, it, it doesn't even matter, okay? But your girl may be picking this pattern up unless it's just too much alike because I wanna save my coins. That's one thing that I'm all about this year is saving my coins, my dollars, um, and not just picking up patterns just because it's out. I wanna make sure it makes sense for me to pick up. But this is a potential. And when I say potential, it's if I see it's too many details like one I already have, I will not be picking it up, all right? I don't care how much is staring me in my face when I go to Joe and I'm just getting really mindful of the patterns that I see that are repeat. But I am sharing with you the ones that I will potentially pick up as well, all right? Let's go ahead and, oh, skill level is average to so. Let's talk about the pattern sizing. So for the pattern, this pattern, 
two envelopes, eight to 16 on the first one. And then the second one is 18 to 26 on that second envelope. In terms of fabric, you have your gabardines, your linen, your medium weight wool um, fabric, your twill. I think it would be great in a twill or wool uh, suiting fabric as well. There's other fabrics you can use um, if you choose, all right? But once again, it's 2014. Moving over to the next one is 2015, which is a potential for me. It is a mystic jacket. So let's get into the details of this pattern. It's a line semi-fitted collarless jacket that has princess seams, long two-piece sleeve, shoulder pads, which are optional, patch pockets if you want that, right? Whip button and button holes. View A has the front button closure and contrast sleeve band, whereas view B has the purchase trim. It is an average to sew pattern. All right, so this pattern right here reminds me of Simplicity 922, it's either 9227 or 9225. I can't remember off the top of my head, but this pattern, just the jacket reminds me of that where you have an African-American or black lady with a white jacket on. I'm going to put it up on the screen because it's either a 9225 or 9227 for one of for that pattern. All right. So it reminds me of that pattern for simplicity. It's very similar for that, but it's also another McCall pattern that this pattern reminds me of. I don't know the number, so I'm not going to put that one up on the screen. All right. But this is an average or so pattern and let's talk about the pattern sizing. So in terms of the pattern sizing is eight to 16 on the first one, 18 to 26 on the second envelope. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you uh, can use su the suggested fabric will be your crepe, your gabardine, your linen, your crepe, your medium weight crepe, I should say, and wool blends for this one. But once again, it's 2015. Moving over to the next pattern, one that you know your girl will be potentially picking up. And when I say potentially, I want to pick up the pants and the jacket to go along with it because it makes a complete set. And this is 2016, the jacket. It is an average or so pattern, but let's go ahead and get into those details, all right? It's a fitted line jacket that has princess seams, slightly extended shoulders, shoulder pads, which are optional if you want that, um, long two-piece sleeves with darted cuff, I'm sorry, darted cap, not cuffs, cap, um, button trim on the sleeves and the front welt pockets with the flaps if you want the, that detail on the front of your jacket, all right? View A has a peak lapel and view B have the shawl collar as well. So the difference between the two, the peak lapel has a collar and then it has that peak and then the shawl just flows all the way down and don't have like a collar or anything. It's just kind of like a U shape, I guess is what you can call it, all right? Like I mentioned, it's an average sew pattern. Let's talk about the pattern sizing. So in terms of pattern sizing for this one, it's six to 14 on the first envelope and then 16 to 24 on that second envelope, all right? Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric for this uh, pattern, you could use brocade, linen, medium weight crepe, tweed, uh, wool suiting, gabardine would be nice as well to use for this pattern. But once again, it's 2016. Let's move over to the next one, which is one that I will not be picking up, which is 2017. So let's go ahead and get into 2017. So for 2017, it's a message jacket in two lengths, skirt and pants, okay? Mm. So for the description, oh, first of all, it's average to sew. For the description, it's close fitting line jacket that has long two piece sleeve, princess seam and well pockets. View A is cropped, whereas view B has the self fringe trim. Um, view C is your fitted pencil skirt that has the waist facing instead of a waistband. So the, the waist facing is basically a facing that goes on the inside of the skirt instead of the outside. Um, me, I prefer a waistband, so I would not do the facing pieces. It also features an invisible back zipper and a back bit. Now, this the skirt reminds me of McCall's 3830, which is also McCall's 8051, just to give you that. Now, it also features a semi-fitted high-rise pants, which have the flared legs with hem 
facing, okay? Self fringe trim, a fly zipper, a couture waistband and hook and eye closure, all right? So the pants reminds me of the Vogue pattern that they switched over to new look. Um, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but it's pretty much the same thing on that one. So they moved it from Vogue to new look and now they're replenishing it as a Vogue. I don't know, I don't know what Vogue is thinking, but I will say, if you did not get the old Vogue pattern before they switched it to the new look pattern, you can get the new look pattern for $2.99 and save a couple of dollars, like $3, or you could just go ahead and get this pattern. Like I mentioned, it's a potential for me, but it's not a need for me, all right? Let's go ahead and move over. Oh, let's talk about uh, the pattern sizing. Yes, I almost forgot about that. My apologies, all right? So in terms of sizing for this envelope, it's eight to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the second envelope. Let's talk fabrics. So in terms of fabric for this one, you could use uh, linen, tweed, wool, crepes. Um, you can use many different fabrics for this one. Um, for me, I think if I was to ever do it, which I have no, I, no chance of doing, when I say, I, I don't wanna say I don't have no chance, but I will say that my intentions is not to do this pattern whatsoever. I'm not saying it's my, it's not my style. It's just, I'm not picking up the pattern. So there's no need for me. But if I was to do this pattern, I would actually do it in tweed. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 2018, which is a potential pattern for me. All right, so 2018 is pretty much your whole coordinate set. It features the jacket, the skirt, and the pants for this pattern, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the pattern description for this one, which is a fitted line peplum jacket. It has the front button closure, notch collar, the godet, and front end seam pockets. Now, view A and view, view A is your, your jacket, view B is your skirt, and then view C is your pair of pants. So. View B, your skirt features the waist facing side front, side back, and then a center front and center back seam that has the goaded and invisible side seam zipper. So you, instead of just having a one skirt, you will have a side front, a side back, a front, a back, you know, a center front and a center back seams. And then you also have the goaded that will go in there with the invisible zipper. Now there is a skirt that this reminds me of. Brittany J. Joan did a complete sew along for this. It's a simplicity pattern, of course. Don't remember the pattern number, but if I remember, I will definitely put it up on the screen for you. It's similar, but not not like a hundred percent it okay that's what I'm saying um the pants are tapered pants which is fitted through the hips it have a side button waistband slanted pockets and an invisible side zipper so instead of the back zipper it's a side zipper this pattern is an average to sew pattern as well let's talk pattern sizing so this one is not size inclusive it features size 4 to 12 on the first envelope and then 12 to 20 on that second envelope as well. Now, I really like the jacket to be honest, but I'm not here for the skirt whatsoever. The pants is, I mean, I have so many patterns that's similar to this pattern for the pants. So if I was to pick up this pattern, it would be strictly for the jacket. That's it, that's done in and out the door, no matter what, right? Let's talk fabrics, all right? So in terms of fabric, for this one, you can use brocade, linen blends, medium weight crepe, or wool suiting, just to name a few of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern, all right? Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 2019, which is a potential for me because this is the lounge set. And if you remember when I did my wardrobe building, my lounge set wardrobe building, this pattern you could definitely put in there, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the description for this pattern, which is a Marcy Tilson pattern. It is a loose fitting slit neck top it has stitched down neck facing, set in sleeves, bust darts, and a side slip. Now this has a loose fitting elastic waist pants. It has side seam pockets for the pants and length variations. Now view A also have some top stitching on the vent and the hem as well, all right? Now this one, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, from what I'm looking at in the line art, the top could be a no notion pattern, whereas the pants could be an elastic only pattern. All right. So in terms of the sewing skill level, it's rated as easy for this one. Let's go ahead and talk about the sizing. So in terms of sizing, it's one size fit. I wouldn't say one size fit all, but it's extra small to extra large. And for the fabric for this one, I'm going to say that, um, you would need cotton, crepe, uh, any type of drapey style fabric, like your rayon, chalet, your silk, uh, poly, chemise, your silk, poly, visco, crepe, just to name a few. Now, in terms of notions, you will need elastic, like I said, for the pants. And then view A, B, which is the so-called tunic or top, it's a no notion pattern. So write it down, no notion pattern for 2019 for the top. The pants, you will need elastic. All right, let's get over to the next pattern, which is one that I'm considering. Another lounge wear builder. So if you took notes on the lounge wear, go ahead and put it in there. It's 2020, the same year that COVID hit and everybody was in lounge pants. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong, you guys. But let's go ahead and get into this pattern script description for your Mrs. Lounge top, robe, and pants. Now, this one, hmm, I don't remember the Vogue pattern, but I think it's Vogue 1960, where you had like a robe, a uh, slip, a slip, or something like that. Um, but this one right here, I like the fact that it has kind of like the slit sleeves or whatever that's going on in view A. But I'm on the fence with this one because I don't make a lot of lounge wear. Well, take that back. I do not make a lot of robes and capes and stuff like that for my, my living standards. No, I don't wear robes to bed either. So let's go ahead and get into description. So for this one, it's a semi-fitted top or robe and have the covered shoulder pads, which if you're gonna be wearing it to bed, why do you need covered shoulder pads? But to each its own. It features a flared sleeve, snap closure, and belt. View A has the split sleeves. View B has the lace trim and side front pockets. And then you, it features a wide leg pants, which I like that have the front pleats. It also have like the side front pockets and a front fly zipper. Yes, you heard me. The pants features a fly front zipper. All right. View D has the trim, the um, lace trim as well. So view D, um, if you want to do those pants, those features the lace trim at the very bottom if you want to do that. Now, me, I like the white leg pants. I'm here for those. But the top, I'm literally not here for that at all. All right. Let's talk about the sewing skill level. It's rated as average. Let's talk about the pattern sizing. It comes in two envelopes, 8 to 16 on the first one, and then 18 to 26 on that second envelope. Let's talk fabrics. So in terms of fabric, Shea Muse, Crepe, Crepe de Shines, Satin, uh, Linen Blends, just to name a few of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern. But once again, it's 2020. Moving over to the last pattern that I will potentially pick up. It's not like a must. Ah, it's a must, but not a must. All right, because I have a lot of style caftan patterns and that's what this one is. It's 2021. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is a loose fitting one shoulder neck dress. It has the neck facing, invisible side seam, a zipper, length variation, narrow hem. And then view B has that purchase lace trim that you could do. Um, and then if you look at view C, view C is are, are your fitted pants. It have like the flat front, side front pockets, elastic back, and the narrow hem as well. So I do like the fact that the pants are flat, flat front, elastic back pants, all right? In terms of the pattern rating, it's easy, or I should say easy to sew, but you know, teach or some. In terms of the pattern sizing, it's one envelope, small to extra large on this pattern as well. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, Shea Muse, Linen Blends, Rayon Chalet, Silk, 
crepe, um, silk back satin, crepe back satin, silky prints. You can name any fabric that, or you can use any fabric, okay? So just know, just have the fabric that you wanna use for this one, all right? And let's talk about the last pattern, which is 2022, all right? And this is a pattern that I don't want, all right? I, I am not picking this pattern up. It's a men's jacket, shorts, and pant pattern. Let's go ahead and get into the description for this pattern. So this pattern is a men's jacket, shorts, and pant pattern. It's semi-fitted, unlined jacket. It has the pointed collar, long two-piece sleeves with the button cuffs, concealed front button closure, and the front pockets, all right? So view A jacket has the gusset patch pockets with the welts. And then the jacket for view B has the conventional patch pockets. It also have like a mid rise. And then you also have pants. So view C, and well view C are your shorts, but view D are your pants. So view C the short are your cargo pockets on the side and the stitch hem. And then view D features your regular hem. It all, the pants also features uh, waistband. It is semi-fitted pants for sure that have that waistband. Belt and car belt carriers, fly front zipper, and then side seam pockets and the back welt pockets as well. Let's talk about the pattern envelope or the pattern sizes, I should say. It comes in two envelopes, 34 to 42 on the first one, and then 44 to 52 on that second envelope. Let's talk fabric shall we okay so in terms of the fabrics you can use cotton blends um if you want to make it really super lightweight linen um, medium weight wovens or stretch wovens swills would be good now for this pattern um i would definitely say that this is not my go-to pattern i could see making this in kind of like if you remember when norris and mimi did he so she so where they did the same, they used the same fabric, but two different um, th two different things that they sewed together. This was a couple of years ago when they did He So, She Sews. Um, but Norris made a cabana set and I could kind of see using this pattern, females, listen to me, hear me out, hear me out, use this pattern and make a really nice two piece set. Now, because this is an average to sew pattern, it's like, Rochelle, are you gonna waste all that time on a man's pattern? we'll see we'll see i'm not just completely writing it off but we shall see all right <laughs> but those are all the patterns that drops for the vogue spring or i believe this is early spring 2024 collection let me know which ones you like don't like which ones you're picking up tell me which ones you think i should pick up or if you like the ones that i will be picking up Comment in the comment section below, all right? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And since you made it this far, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. Also, smash that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. Well, friends just like my sins, they all forgotten, huh? Cause they started folding like them blue bills in my wallet, yeah. Okay. Can't complain when it comes with pain, I've been through it They don't understand for me to die this game, I ain't losing I was so, so proud when I